boys and girls, it's me, Cody, the Coder. And today, we're going to learn all about decomposition. Decomposition is a computational thinking strategy. It helps you take large problems and break them into smaller parts. The smaller parts make it easier to solve. Let's take a look at some ways I use decomposition to help solve my big problem. Starting a coding project, well, that can be a really big problem. There's so many things you have to think about. It can be really overwhelming. By using decomposition, I look at things one at a time. So for example, I love wrestling. And I wanted to create a really fun wrestling game on Scratch. So the first thing I did was decide what sprites I was going to use. I used a John Cena sprite, a Roman Reigns sprite, and I also used a sprite for John Cena's logo. So cool! The next thing I had to do is figure out what blocks I was going to use. As you can see, I used some event blocks, and I used some movement blocks, and I used a lot of control blocks. This way my game would be very interactive. Now when I play, I push the green flag, and it says, you can't see me, Cena. Oh no, he's moving around so much. I have to, I have to make sure I get my point. So I'm going to be like, boom, yeah. And I'm going to go, boom. Yeah, I got him again. Boom. Oh, no, I meant boom. Oh, no. Yay. This is so much fun. I'm so glad I used decomposition to break down my coding program and do one thing at a time. I use decomposition in the real world, too. Let's use the example of my cool Funko Pop collection. I used to have them all over the floor. And that was not good because people would step on them. So I decided I needed to decompose the problem. I figured out that the safest way that people can see them is if I put them on a bookshelf. So I saved up my money and I bought a nice bookshelf. Then I put it together. Once it was all put together, I had to organize all my Funko Pops. So I put them in movie categories and cartoon categories and all different types of categories. And then I displayed them nicely so that instead of people tripping on them, they could walk over and take a look at all my cool Funko Pops. Hey, take a look. Awesome! Thanks for joining me today, boys and girls, and learning all about decomposition. Remember, in computational thinking, decomposition is when you take a large problem and you break it down into smaller steps. The smaller steps make them easier to solve. See you next time on Coding with Coding with Coding with Coding.